front of Noel Feely for the trainer Harry Fry. Two Noble Endeavour Barry Garrity rides the Flemingsford Gelding. Three Outlander is the mounted Brian the Cooper. Four Rule the World, the Aintree Grand National Hero for David Mullins and Mouse Morris. Five Shantu Flyer is a Barry O'Neill. Number six Southfield Royale is Paul Town and seven Sub Lieutenants is Jack Kennedy. Number eight, Sabana, is Davy Russell. And nine, Bally Chorus, the only uh, mayor in the race, Mags Mullins, the trainer, the jockey, is Dennis O'Regan, uh, Tom Lee. And the Outlander is just about favourite three to one, but uh, there is opposition. There is indeed. And if you think he's been in a few skirmishes, Outlander, because Cheltenham, Fairy House, here he is at Punchestown. And we have seen this trend today of perhaps very strongly fancied horses letting down the form with either the attritional nature of a long season or the changing ground finding them out. And the other variable, of course, with Outlander, what about the trip? The only time in his career we've seen him race at three miles, he was beaten by Martello Tower. And I think for that reason, he's drifting. Uh, the other drift is Henryville for England. Three runs over fences, but in very small fields at the likes of Fontwell, Newton Abbott, Exeter, he's got to improve. For that, for that reason, I think we see this money for Zabana, who, of course, you know, that mishap at Cheltenham, but he was spared the race that day. Could that give him an angle as the fresh horse? And the other one, the Belfast boy, Neil Mulholland, uh, back in Ireland with this very, very talented Southfield Royale, a horse who, lest we forget, at the Cheltenham Festival, went off favourite for the four-miler. Guaranteed stayer, proven on better ground, stable in electric form, first and fifth in the Whitbread on Saturday. And, of course, this is a horse who, having missed entry, I don't think it's a big surprise the money's come for him. A couple of the firms were 10 to 1 yesterday, South Real Royal. I think he's 5 to 1, 11 to 2, maybe 6 to 1, depending on where you shop about here at Punchestown this afternoon. He and Zabana appear to be the two that the punters are really homed in on. And the entry Grand National winner is double figures. But of course, these stats, they tell us many clouds buck the trend, but how often you had to go back to Binderee at the start of the previous decade to find a Grand National winner coming out and winning any other race. So for all that Mouse Morris, it's a brilliant, enterprising piece of placing to run him again in novice company. It's a big ask to win again. The punters, they prefer Zabana and they prefer Southfield Royale. Interesting. We get a look at the nine runners for this Greywise champion novice and Henryville, the first that we get a look at. He's won two of his three starts over fences. That slightly flatters him because in his first outing at Fontwell, he finished alone. There were just two runners in it. He was good second to Irish Cavalier, but getting a stone then. And then he won, stayed on well at Exeter last time. Noble and, uh, Noble and Ever, Ted. Noble and Ever, he fell in a race won by Ben Rocco at Cheltenham there, and uh, the four mile chase. But he was second to measure my dreams at Navin on a good run. Um, Black Hercules fell on that occasion, and uh, with Jack Kennedy on board, he beat Marlbrook and Nisha Nama at Down Royal. Now we've seen from one or two horses that it's a long old season and it could be a long old season for this fellow Outlander because last time out at Fairy House he ran in the, uh, the Ryanair Gold Cup. I thought he had a hard enough race. He ran a great race. He was only beaten the length by Kyle Morlock. Did that leave a mark on him? Well, if you're talking about leaving a mark, what about this fella? I mean, this fellow was in the Galway Plate last year, unlucky down into the dip to get brought down, ran in the Kerry National at Listowel, then he runs in the English National and, and he's back here again today, so... <laughs> handsome is as handsome does. There's Shantou Flyer. He's uh, won four times over fences. He uh, rattled up a three-timer in the autumn. But just his last bit of form, you know, he fell behind Manella Rocco uh, in the four-mile at Cheltenham and um, didn't finish behind Measure of My Dreams before that. This fellow has a chance. Southfield Royale, Paul Townend on board. He was ran well behind Manella Rocco in that race uh, that we just spoke about, the four-mile at Cheltenham. And he had a good run behind T for two at Kempton uh, in a good three-mile chase there around Christmas. And he was a winner at Don Castle before that. Sub lieutenant is the man of Jack Kennedy, trained by Sandra Hughes, and uh, pulled up in the Irish National. Just weak and ran pretty well, I thought, until just found the, the, the three mile six or three mile five a little far. Good winner before that in, a, in graded company at Nace. Well, if any horse deserved a bit of luck, it's Zabana, Andy Lynch's runner here. Uh, he unseated. Uh, Davy Russell at the start in the race the Black Hercules won uh, he'd run a good race behind Outlander at uh, Leperstown before that and beat uh, Blair Perron and Tellus Moore at Leperstown he deserves a bit of luck this horse and Ballycor is the mayor in the race by King's Theatre just question her jumping a little bit she's going to love the ground but let's hear from Mouse Morris he's with Tracy <laughs> Yes, we have him pinned down, Miles Morris joining, because he doesn't like doing pre-race interviews, you see, but we had to get him because, I mean, just over two weeks ago, what an amazing day. Rule the world. I mean, he was fantastic. And here he is again, and he's on his toes. He looks brilliant. Yeah, you know, look, we're not running him because at home now he's in 
he's telling me to run, you know. So we, it's the last chance to run in the so we, you know, we take a chance. Now, we don't know whether he's going over the top, but come down, he's, he's well at you know. There were a lot of tears, I tell you. I was sitting there with tears in my eyes when he won there at, at Aintree. It was a very, very special day and uh, obviously an absolute highlight of your career. Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, look, like the Gold Cup is the race we all want to win, but the National is probably more uh, worldwide, you know. I say you've piles upon piles upon piles of letters of congratulations and cards and texts and goodness knows what, have you? Yeah, I haven't gone around to answer them yet, but we'll, we'll get there, yeah. I don't think they expect you to answer them, but I have to say, I couldn't believe it when, when I saw him. It doesn't look like that race took anything out of him. No, well, I mean, sorry, well, yeah, I'm letting him take his chance, you know, and I was there with the horse's welfare and front utmost in my mind. So, uh, look, we'll have to wait and see what happens, you know. We're looking forward to seeing Ron again. Well done. Um, good luck in this. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Miles. Uh, well done. Well done to Miles Morris. There he is. Rule the world. Fresh from his success at Aintree and still in novice company, as we've said. Hadn't won a race before Aintree. Here he is. Well, we can have a look at that Aintree run. And, uh, Ted, it was, it was a joyous moment, this. Uh, he didn't half win it either. Yeah, he won well. Young David gave him 10 out of 10 here. He didn't panic. Uh, that's the second last, is it? Looks like or the, maybe the last, last, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, the last. That's the last, and uh, he just takes his time. Oh, here's the last coming up now. That's the second last. Here he is, and he's like he knows a long ways up the run in here. He's working away hard. Gets a couple of back handles into him when he pulls him around at the other horses. He finds that extra gear. They just run out of petrol. They've run big canvases, run a cracker. So is the second horse, but they've been fighting for a long ways up. And this old horse is a classy horse. He was a, a graded horse over hurls, and they were just old handicappers. And he just pulls out that bit more. And going to the line, he's won really well. He's won five or six lengths. He gets the trip well. And his stamina was not going to deny him today. And he goes right away from the other two. The other two have run crackers. And they'd have been good winners without him. But he was a good winner. And a great ride off of young David. And a great day for Mouse. There's Zabana. Zabana, who uh, was really unlucky at, at Cheltenham to get caught out at the start. Uh, just was sideways and unshipped Davy when the start up. Release the tape. Going to like the ground, I think. Only uh, has run twice over over fences and, and, and a good winner. Also runner-up in the Coral Cup in, on good uh, good ground. There's Southfield Royale. Yeah. Neil Mulholland's horse is in great order. He won the Bet365 the other day. Uh, he's won a couple of big races this year, handicap chases. And uh, this horse is sure to run well. Stays and jumps and Paul Townend will give him a good old drive. An outlander beside him. Big, big chance. Brian Cooper on outlander for Willie Mullins. Outlander. As we said, uh, runner-up in the Ryanair Gold Cup. Uh, faller at Cheltenham, four out. Chris Jones has two runners here, both Noble Endeavour and Zabana. I didn't mention early on, I was talking about the influential owners, but Chris is very much so in that game as well too. As Outlander winning, or uh, being runner-up in the at Fairy House at, Christmas, at uh, Easter. Terry Lee's runner getting the better. Kyle Morlock. Who's your winner, Ted? I don't know. I, Zabana has, a, has an outside chance. Southfield Royale has an each way chance at 10. Is he? What price is he, lads? I didn't look at the betting there. What price is Southfield Theatre? 4 to 1. I skimp you no full price. Um, Sports always puts you first. That's why we're down to three mile one furlong start for the Grow Wise Novice Chase. And uh, before I get going on the horses here, I'm just going to give a comment on the ground. I spoke to Paddy Brennan after he won the champion chase, and he was very complimentary about conditions. What a good job Punchestown Racecourse had done, and saying that they were absolutely ideal. So you can see, looking at it here, we give it a bit of a kick. We're putting a dint in it there, and there is a nice little bit of juice on top. So while the ground is probably on the easy side of good, it is perfectly safe conditions. The horses have just walked away. They were right beside us here, looking at the, getting a look at this fence, but they've all moved away, taken into line. Uh, the one you can see getting his girt done there is the national hero, rule the world. He looked very calm and relaxing himself for a horse who's had that under his belt recently. 
The others look as if they're lining up about six abreast across the track. There's a few to take note of. Um, in the yellow colours there, Dennis O'Regan, who's recently started his new job for Barry Connell, uh, takes the ride on Bally Chorus. This one in her last six starts, she's won three times and fallen three times, so uh, hopefully she'll stay on her feet today. She's a good bold front runner, and I'm sure Dennis will leave her stride on. This race, a bit unlike the last, the champion chase when we were down at the start, that's Helter Skelter. These it's three miles, one furlong, they'll be taking their time a bit more, hoping to get a bit more settled in and uh, get into a nice rhythm and jumping well. Another of note is Zabana, well fancied for this. He was well fancied in Cheltenham as well when having an incident at the start which ended up in Davy Russell getting unseated from him and missing the start. Uh, I think he was a bit of a miscommunication with the starter. Davy Russell, hopefully nothing like that will happen this time. Davy's lined up on the inside. He looks well and ready. No reason why anything similar should happen. On the outside coming up against us is Daban O'Neill, the hero from the last race on Shantou Flyer. And... Uh, they're taking a line-up. Looks like there's plenty going to line up with Bally Chorus. There's about six wide. Off and racing in this, the Grow Eyes champion, Novice Chase, and Bally Chorus is the first to show. Zabana's away smart on the inside. Southfield Royale is right with them as they got to make their way out over fence number one. And Zabana hit it hard. He surrendered a number of lengths, but he's still in the race as they head to make their way across to the first of the ditches. Fence number two coming up. And Bally Chorus with sub lieutenant for company just outside his outlander as they got to make their way out of this one. Southfield Royale is prominent. Zabana's just tucked in behind them. Rule the world and Shantou Flyer in front of Noble Endeavour. Henry Ville is the early back marker. So they turn to make their way right handed out of the back straight for the first time. Fences three and four will bring them into the straight first time in this three mile one furlong contest. And Zabana's made his way quickly back through them now under Davy Russell. Bally Chorus, the mount of Dennis O'Regan, who takes over, of course, in the Barry Connell colours from now onwards, I think. Sub Lieutenant is racing in a close third, wearing the blue cap under Jack Kennedy. Down the inside, that's Southfield Royale, the mount of Paul Townend, being followed just outside by Sean Two Flyer, Barry O'Neill aboard for the Colombo team. Behind these is the entry national winner in the white cap, that is Rule the World. Noble Endeavour is towards the inside, the mount of Barry Garrity, and the back marker is Henry Ville for Noel Feely and Harry Fry. Heading to make their way towards the fence, which will bring them on the turn into the straight and it's Zabana who leads Bally Chorus racing on the outside just in behind this leading pair is Sub-Lieutenant and Southfield Royale as they clear this one and begin to make their way into the straight they're all clear over four five of these ran at the Cheltenham Festival and all five managed to eject the rider somewhere along the way so they'll be hoping for better fortunes here as they turn into the straight they've won 51 races between them and 1.7 million euro in prize money and as they straighten up it's Zabana who leads them along from Bally Chorus in second Sean Two Flyers out wide in third South Southfield Royale is tucked in on the inside red cap. Blue cap of Sub Lieutenant is next. They're being followed by Outlander just behind these. As they clear this one, has ruled the world. Noble Endeavour is in the cheek pieces, and Henryville brings up the rear. So they come now to make their way on towards the fence, which will be their last in the circuit's time. Zabana Bally Chorus dispute the lead right behind them. Southfield Royale on the inside of Sub Lieutenant. And they're being chased by Shantou Flyer as they head up now to pass the post. And it's Bally Chorus who's won her last three completed starts, but she's fallen unseated on the other three. Zaban on the inside, so unlucky when on shipping Davy Russell at the post has his chance for compensation here. They're being followed by Sub Lieutenant, the half brother to the Gold Cup winner Lord Windermere. Over on the near side is Shantou Flyer. Barry O'Neill takes the chance of taking a quick double on this one. Southfield Royale for the Neil Mulholland team. They'd the big winner at Sandown on Saturday with the young master. Just in behind these is Outlander, the choice of three Jigginstown runners for Brian Cooper went for this one then in behind these is the entry national winner that's Rule the World and David Mullins just behind them Noble Endeavour Barry Garrity aboard and Henry Vale is the back marker for the Harry Fry team who had a winner for a bumper here a couple of years ago with Fletcher's Flyer and they're bidding for grade one success now so Zabana leads Bally Chorus third on the inside Southfield Royale they're being followed by Sub Lieutenant Sean Two Flyers just outside and this one's being followed by Rule the World who out jumped out Lander at that one a few lengths break to Noble Endeavour and the back marker is Henry Ville so they make their way on down the hill towards fence number nine 17 fences and all to be jumped and Zabana leads them down being followed in second by Bally Chorus Yellow Jacket on the outside Sub Lieutenant's a close third on the outside is Sean Two Flyer Southfield Royale hasn't left the inner with the sheepskin noseman white face then just in behind them is Outlander White Cap of Rule the World Noble Endeavour continues to be ridden along and Henryville brings up the rear Fence 9 coming up now and Zabana with Bally Chorus hit it hard and all but gone unshipped again 4 from 7 when she stands up she wins but she doesn't always and she's out of the race and that leaves Zabana 
Sabana in front from Sub Lieutenant. Southfield Royale is down the inside. Sean Two Flyers next. Sabana was awkward over that one, and awkward at the back was Noble Endeavour. So they've got to make their way into the back straight now on towards fences 11, 12 and 13. Zabana still leads from on the outside sub-lieutenant. Southfield Royale is third, but Sean Tuflyer improves up on his outside. They're being followed by Outlander Rule the World, Henryville and Noble Endeavour. Riderless Horse just goes along ahead of them there as they make their way and should just divert out of their way. Zabana with one eye on the riderless horse, comes to it, jumps it well from sub-lieutenant, Southfield Royale, the one that landed a bit slow, Outlander is next, with his onside is Shantou Flyer, as they make their way towards the fence right across the far side of the track, and it's Zabana, Shantou Flyer, as they come to it, being followed by sub-lieutenant, then Southfield Royale, Outlander is next, Henry Vills on the inside, the Mount of Noel Feely, he won this back in 2008 on Air Force One for Charlie Mann, as they make their way on now towards the next, and it's Zabana, with Shantou Flyer improving up on the outside, and sub lieutenants between them. They're being followed by Southfield Royale. Outlander wasn't foot perfect there. Rule the World still goes well, as does Henryville. They're getting away from Noble Endeavour. So they begin to make their way on the turn. That's going to bring them right-handed out of the back straight. And up front, Zabana with on his outside sub-lieutenant Zaban and Davy Russell, sub-lieutenant the Mount of Jack Kennedy, Sean Two-Flyer Barry O'Neill, just niggled along now Southfield Royal, Paul Townend, Outlanders now ah, right, this horse comes right across them, Zaban has done well to avoid and so does sub-lieutenant not too much damage done there, but Bally Chorus could have done a lot there, it's Zabana from sub-lieutenant, Southfield Royal, Sean Two-Flyer's wider out, widest of all is ruled the world, Outlanders try to come in between them, they're almost six in line now as they begin to make their way towards the third last and this the Growwise champion novice chase and it's close to call up front but Bally Chorus keeps coming across them the riderless Bally Chorus out of harm's way now Zabana, Shantou Flyer ruled the world on the outside being followed in the centre by sub-lieutenant right behind them outlander Henryville looking to go through on the inside and Southfield Royal can't go with them beginning to turn in with two to jump and it's Zabana ruled the world on the outside sub-lieutenant between them Shantou Flyer right there between them and outlander's going to make it five in line and Henryville is not out of it heading to make their way towards the second last and it's Zabana no look at Cheltenham can he gained compensation at Punchestown. Outlander the far side. The national winner, the near side, ruled the world. Shantou Flyer is next, and then behind them is Henryville. One fence left to jump. Zabana, he's picking up again. Outlander's trying to get back at him, rule the world. There's back on the near side of Shantou Flyer, but it's Zabana over in front from Outlander in second. Rule the world is third. Zabana with Outlander trying to close, but Zabana is pushed clear by David Russell, going to take it. Zabana wins the Grow Wise Novice chase from Outlander second, sub lieutenant third. Henryville four shunt to flyer and rule the world and they're clear from Southfield Royale but the winner is number eight on your card Zabana owned by Chris Jones trained by Andy Lynch and ridden by Davy Russell who won this three times before it's his fourth success in this race well anyone who is watching Cheltenham will agree he was the most unlucky horse at the Cheltenham Festival and all credit to Chris Jones and Andy Lynch for coming back here the luck has turned their way they've won it on merit Zabana has taken the grow wise well, it's a great result for Davy Russell, a great result for Chris Jones, but an even better result for Andy Lynch because he was absolutely heartbroken at Cheltenham. He got no run at all. He unshipped uh, Davy at the start. Uh, what's the loose horse coming across there? Look at that. Now, the lads were lucky. Uh, what they call him was very unlucky there so the lieutenant got pushed a mile wide at that stage but at the same time uh, Davy avoided it and if she appeared back in again here as his run down to the second last Zabana had uh, made a very bad mistake at the first and Davy gave him a chance to get on his feet and then he moseyed back up on the inside jumps there well runs a little bit down to his right and uh Ballycora stream in front of him there again but Davy goes her inside here she disappears now which is a bit of a help and uh, Davy lets him run down the last uh, two. This is the second last. Jumps it well, and Miron in. He's going to hang on and win hard as Outlander tries. Uh, Davy has the couple of lengths got there, and he's going to stay good. Henryville has run a good race. Sub Lieutenant ran a cracker, having cost five or six lengths at the bottom bend. But it's Savannah's day. For Chris Jones, as I said earlier on, I mentioned Robert asked me about the big owners. Chris has piled plenty into it as well too. The Jones families were always uh, real lovers of the jumping game, racing game in general, uh, and Chris has really got involved in the jumpers now. He must have at least 20 jumpers in training. He's a few with Henry de Bromhead, he's got a few with Arthur Moore, he's got a few himself, and he's got a few with Andy Lynch and uh, Gordon Elliott, and this horse is a great day for him. He's a great supporter of us, and wonderful for him. And we can hear from Andy Lynch now. He's with Tracy. 
Big Sam know he was. Yes, I have Andy Lynch here being congratulated by everybody. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, after what happened in Cheltenham and everything, isn't it? Amazing? You'll have to ask me questions. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Wonderful, wasn't it? I mean, the, most thanks, thanks. The disappointment of Cheltenham, and yeah. now he's come out, redeemed himself, and he was fantastic. Yeah. He was good. He was going to be good in Cheltenham too now, mm. because I thought he was better going to Cheltenham than he was today. Now we got a bit of a setback on him. He got really upset for what he did, you know, and it took us a few days to get over it. And I thought last part that he'd come on back, but then you don't know, you know what I mean, to let him into that sink or swim job. How special well, is it to win here game. on home turf, though, here at Punchestown? It's third chase, like, you know. He's, I'm delighted, Tracy, pure delighted. I'm congratulated by everybody, it's just yeah. wonderful. The country now will be the privilege of me, <laughs> but I'm delighted for him now because he deserves it. And so did you. We're delighted for you. And go and welcome him in. Well done. Thanks, Tracy, very much. Brilliant. Well done. Thanks. Uh, well done to Andy. Well done to everybody. Zabana.